Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today I'm going to discuss the topic. This is a case study basically how Kingfisher is closed down. You know, Kingfisher was one of the largest and most widespread airlines in India and they also operate outside of India. But due to the lack of management and resulting in financial crisis, Kingfisher Airlines was finally closed down on 15th February 2012. You know, they had, Kingfisher had 66 aircraft, 70 destination and 394 flight per day. So from that you can imagine how big was this. I know this aviation in Rasti, this Kingfisher. You know, it was second largest airline in India for some uh, period of time. So being such a big player in aviation in Rasti, how, what, why the situation was so worst that, you know, this Director General of Civil Aviation ordered to Kingfisher to, you know, this give a payment to all employees, such type of things. And government also scrap all the you know flight slots for Kingfisher. So, how this situation came into so bad actually for uh, such a big player having so much of resources? That I'll share uh, the important parts. And why actually that then finally Vijay Malia need to go to London after you know this is, oh, oh, overall things were totally messed up. Now before going into this, get into this. Uh, Technicality of the topic. Uh, let's have some basic, you know, uh, introduction of Mr. Vijay Mali's uh, family. Vijay Mali was the son of Mr. Vital Malia, was the chairman of former chairman of United Brewery, and his mother was Lalita Malia. Vijay Malia's first wife was Samida, and their uh, children sir Siddharth and Laila. And the second wife is Rekha and their uh, daughter is Tanya. Now, in 1983, Vijay inherited 19,000 crore business after the death of Mr. Vital Malia. Then he, you know, at, the, at the beginning, uh, say 10, 15 years, he was, you know, this is holding the business in a very uh, nice way and doing progress and after that lot of lavishness and everything comes and finally results you all know and Vijay Mali was you know referred as the Richard Branson of India sometimes liquor baron or the king of good times I would like to share who, who was actually Richard Branson Richard Branson, by personality, by profession, by business, was very similar to Mr. Vijay Malia. Richard Branson, you know, is an English uh, businessman. He is the owner of a company called Virgin Group. This is an aviation industry. Having 55,000 employees and 25,000 billion US dollar company. So you can think, imagine how big was that company. It is also uh, all, still there. So, from this photograph, you can see this Vijay uh, Malia and Mr. Uh, no, Richard Branson was very much similar by nature, by business, by profession, by style and lavishness of life. You know, this Vijay Malia, this flamboyant image is basically actually, you know, you can see the all actions of uh, Bollywood, all top models of India, they, they were all, you know, somehow get into the Kingfisher uh, Airlines, Kingfisher beer and all these things. And Mr. Mali was also very much busy with the, all these things rather than this conventional, you know, this uh, business of corporate house handling. Now, the, you know, this, why Kingfisher was so famous actually as the airlines? One of the reasons is the luxurious flights were all new actually the kingfisher and started business all the flights are new actually very luxurious and uh, foods what they serve actually this is called full meal 
you know, it's a very, very, you can see this, uh, the Kingfisher standard full meal at that time. And this, you know, hospitality, the quality of the air hostess, everything was top actually as for the luxuries. And people are getting this all facility in the, in parallel with all of the other domestic competitors of the service. And to make the service better, Vijay Mali was, you know, himself took the interview for the air hostages so that the right candidate can be chosen. Now, actually, you know, this Kingfisher realized this mismanagement turned into a scam. The company was not a scam from the beginning. It was as good as other companies. But when things are not getting managed, then this mismanagement turned into a scam. You know, he never, Vijay Mali never kept any managing director for Kingfisher Airlines, neither any CEO for a long time. And when the things were, you know, in a very worse condition, then later Mr. Sanjay Agarwal came into the picture and joined in Kingfisher as a CEO. But the situation was so pathetic at the time, it was not, you know, not handleable actually. Everything was uncontrolled. So finally he was also resigned. You know, in Kingfisher Airlines business, you know, every business there needs a business model. That, you know, business model is very important. How? the strategy and all these things. But in Kingfisher, business model was totally absent. And you know, highly pleasant was, you know, the female model was there very much. So that is one of the reasons actually why Kingfisher is uh, closed down. He was, you know, this, uh, every time he was busy with the other things, you can see in this picture. And one of the major wrong decision in the business was taken that this acquisition of the Deckard Airlines. You know, Deccan was one of the lost leading airlines. Till it started, it never seen the face of the profit. And Kingfisher, you know, acquired this Deccan. This is a bleeding organization, actually. So, so, so that was actually one of the wrong decision. And after acquisition, they renamed it as Kingfisher Ray. So public were totally you know, confused. What is this Kingfisher rate? Is it a, you know, there's a low cost carrier or a full service carrier? People are totally confused. And you know, this brand was look alike, very look alike. You, you can see this, you can't, uh, very difficult to distinguish even which one is Kingfisher, which one is Deccan, this Kingfisher rate and Deccan. So there was a problem with the look alike brand is very dangerous for any organization. Either one brand would kill another brand. This is very simple actually, if you not strategize your business. So that was the actually very much wrong with Kingfisher, you know. This lookalike brand was making totally confusing to the public. Actually what they should have done, you know, this Kingfisher can be the international uh, flight and this Deccan can be a low cost domestic flight. So they, then they can get the customer for both the sites. But it was, you know, killing brand you know, rivalry was uh, came into the picture. Actually, this Deccan and Kingfisher was, uh, you know, this killing each other's uh, customers. Actually, and customer also getting confused. What is Kingfisher Red? What is Kingfisher? What is Deccan? So they, you know, shifted to other uh, service provider like Indigo, SpiceJet, etc. And you know, in your uh, aviation business, this uh, uh, operating cost is very important. And operating cost is one of the uh, uh, such like you know staff cost and all these things. I'm giving a small example how the way other uh, you know the other uh, uh, companies are uh, you know addressing their cost reduction in operations. For example, Kingfisher, you can see this both male and female you know this uh, staffs are there. So when after the flight they they are given for uh, some hotel accommodation, so they for one boy and one girl, so and obviously there has to book two rooms. So th this is a part of the casting. Now for the Indigo, you can see all the uh, staffs are female. So in one room they can share two girls. So th th I'm just sharing a small point. So how people can you know. Uh, reduce their operating cost, but Kingfisher is not at all bothered about all these small small things actually. Neither they have uh, done this cost reduction and their ticket selling was going, uh, you know, very uh, decreasing. And at the time, there was 2008, this recession hit into the world market actually. And as a result, this aviation business was going in under 
huge losses for all the companies. And as Kingfisher was already in a, you know, in a, in a down position, so they, they were, you know, unable to get up actually the, uh, on the end. You know, uh, for your understanding, this uh, for aviation industry, the thirty-five percent cost of total operation is the fuel cost. You can say this pie chart. And in two thousand eight to eleven. After during this recession period, this dollar price is going up, and the fuel price is going up like anything. And this this aviation industry was or in in, in a very, uh, you know, a very uh, bad situation actually. And you know, this uh, aviation business, if your seventy five percent actually seventy five percent seat occupancy is the break even for any airlines, this is the standard actual business model means if your 75% seats are not booked for sure you are losing you are running your business in losses that's for sure and as kingfisher you know this passenger were reducing like anything so it was just impossible for them to you know further running the business and every day they are losing like anything and also the kingfisher uh, took you know this uh, 9000 crore loan from different indian banks and state bank was number one, the 1600 crore. Actually, there was no focus on the airline business from Benjamin Mali. You can see he, were, he was busy with some other, uh, other things actually, while he used to like his models and all these things. You can see in this uh, picture, you can understand. Now, actually, there are three strong reasons, three strong points actually why King Fisher was you know, closed down. One is the wrong business calculation wrong expansion like Deccan and international flight routes and the third was mismanagement. These are the three actually reasons why Kingfisher was closed up finally. I've done a small, you know, this uh, short analysis for Kingfisher Airlines. You know, short analysis, these are strength, weakness, opportunity and threats. Now, if we discuss about the, you know, these are uh, strength of Kingfisher, all the flights are you know new there's a brand image on the kingfisher brand is it you know an unmatched flight service and exclusive terminal sharing this was the strength of kingfisher and weaknesses were service are very expensive and yet to break even so if they are you know running business under losses and a high attrition rate of the staff actually people are you know leaving kingfisher and joining some other else areas actually so these are the actual basically weaknesses now the opportunity for kingfisher was the international market was there untapped cargo market was there and expanding tourism in rusty that was one of the area and route rationalization that was the opportunity for kingfisher airlines but the threats were like existing operators like other jet indigos etc infrastructure issues fuel price hike at the time and this economic slowdown that was the threat actually so all this all together actually you know this kingfisher was uh, closed down finally now there there are a few suggestions for a uh, kingfisher if they could uh, do the all these things so that they, they, they might have you know the done this business uh, uh, good ways actually and the business can be saved rather i can say this if they remove flight from the you know there's a low frequency routes or they you know try to bring down the cost per flight actually they were not taking care of this small cost and cost per head like improve passenger revenue per head and all these things and try to focus on a small aircraft actually they have got a bigger aircraft so it's very it was very difficult to fulfill this 75 percent passenger all these things so these are the things actually they could have you know there's a taken care actually so that their business can be you know survive actually rather I can say so if you like this uh, case study or some uh, you know this uh, if you find some business sense in this presentations you can subscribe this video by clicking on the bell icon you can share this video with your friends thank you very much for your attention